Hello there folks, and this is just a really quick tutorial to show you how to use the reshade tool with Dauntless to have your game from looking like this to this. The reshade is a really easy tool to download and to use, and it adds a lot of customization to your graphics in terms of lighting and sharpening. So the first thing you want to do is type in reshade into your browser, and it should be the first thing that pops up, but I will leave a link in the description if that helps at all. And then you want to download the latest version of reshade. Careful not to download any of the ads that pop up on the page. Obviously I've already got it downloaded, so I don't need to do that again, but the process shouldn't take long. And then you want to go to your recent downloads folder and click reshade setup, and it will bring up this box here. Select click here to select a game and manage its reshade installations. So all the games you have downloaded should appear here, but strangely Dauntless doesn't, so you'll need to go browse your files for that. Now I'll show you exactly where to find the right file. You need to be careful here because you don't want to choose the wrong file. So go to where your Epic Games is installed, mine's is in my D drive, and then go to DirectX Redist. In your DirectX Redist file, you want to select Dauntless. And this is where I got caught out the first time. Don't choose Dauntless down here with the logo. Go into your Archon file. In your Archon file, choose Binaries, 164, and this is the file you want to select, Dauntless 164 Shipping. So select that and click Open. You'll then be brought to this box, which rendering API does Dauntless 164 Shipping use, and you want to select Direct3D 10, 11, or 12. You'll then be brought to this page, select Effect Packages to install, unselect them all, and then choose the ones you want, but I'm just going to choose all of them. And then you just click OK and wait for the process to be completed. And as you can see, it shouldn't take very long at all, no more than a minute or two. And once you've done that, you can just close off this box and start the Dauntless game. So assuming you've successfully installed Reshade, you should get this text box at the start of the game every time. And it'll prompt you to press the home button on your keyboard, and that's where you bring up the configuration menu, where you can change the graphics to suit what you want. So after you press the home button on your keyboard, this will bring up the configuration menu, and this is where you can choose all the effects and the strengths of these effects that you want. So it's got a lot of different options, some of them are ridiculous and some of them are useless, but a lot of them will really improve the appearance of your game. Things from sharpening tools, to colour boosters, to adaptive fog or HDR, or sharpening tools. I'll leave the exact settings I use in the description below. For example, there's a lot of different sharpening tools, but I'd say adaptive sharpening really improves the picture quality, as you can see here. I especially like this levels option, I think it does a lot of good for the colours and the lighting. Don't underestimate how big an impact lighting can have on your game. Like for example, on the Bethesda Skyrim and Fallout modern scene, E and B's and reshades really help improve the image. But it's really just what your preferences are I guess. But anyway, let's just take a walk around Ramsgate with the settings that I've chose to see the improvements. You can see in the before and after here that there is a dramatic improvement to lighting and image quality. This does actually look a lot better than this, but the screen capture tool that I'm using seems to only be recording in 720p instead of the 1080p that I'm using, but it still looks really damn good. But as you would imagine, this isn't going to improve texture quality, it's just going to sharpen everything, boost those colours and just make everything look so much more vibrant. I've also noticed a huge improvement to distant objects, like faraway trees for example. And you can see particularly up here in the first layer area that the colours just really pop amongst the green trees and vegetation. I should also note that this really shouldn't impact your frame rate in any way whatsoever, so you can do this on any laptop or computer no matter how powerful it is. But yeah, I'm really happy I downloaded this. I used Reshade a while back for Skyrim before I could work out how to properly use EMBs, and I feel like they just add so much to the game. And again, you can see the difference here in the before and after, how much better it looks with this on. But yeah, that's all there really is to it. As I said, I'll leave all the information in the description below. If this has been in any way helpful, please feel free to leave a like, or you could even subscribe. If you've got any feedback, or if you've got any questions, just leave that in the comment section below. But until next time, see you later.